Okay. We got Trace Energy 2. I think I'm gonna keep that. Uh, that's a bit too many spenders, perhaps. Tiggy. Which hunter? Go away! I don't want you. This round one is really annoying. Okay. Um. So let's say I play a tax collector this world only and two boost it. It doesn't die. Bathtub Junior? No, no, no. He's called uh, Wholesome Junior. Very family friendly. I remembering the Dagon meta. Yeah, the devs have so much PTSD based on that close beta. Close beta. In close beta, uh, Vader was good. At one time, Vader dropped everything to a row on a row to one point, and even if he got rid of the Vader, they stayed at one point. That was broken. That was broken. But that was the time that Vader was like ridiculous. But even when, when you had counters to it, better was just okay. Something you had to play late. Uh, I'll just play a spender. Better than paying taxes. Huh. go. Can boost by one. Ship. Well, now we gotta spend all the bo good boost and call it quits. Maybe get the bear. Yeah, we can. We can play the bear. Why does he have pants though? Can we see the picture of him? How, how else would you take a shower? Or, like, don't you guys? No. Are you suggesting? That you're not taking a bath with your pants on. What if someone comes in? Okay. We gotta kill that. I got the feeling that he's not taking this super seriously. If he plays another card, I'm just gonna pass. Gotta be one hell of a card. I haven't seen this guy for a long time, and he uses the title for number one in Wild Hunt season. What? Oh. Wild Hunt King? Really? Wild Hunt King. This dick was nerfed somehow? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that just show you off here. I wouldn't use it even though I had it. Okay. Pass. Hopefully he doesn't have artifact counters. Let's be real here. There's no way. I'm open to keeping a, a bounty guy in hand, but maybe not. The tight cloak ransackers gets kicked. Uh, that gets kicked too. Actually, yeah, fine. We got two spenders. That's good enough. Not that many cards that I want from the deck. Nathaniel and Imka would be good. Wait, he, we went with an Arrakis drone to trigger the Valton Riders. 
Okay. Any good cards? That's okay. That's just an okay card. Maybe I just want to keep that, because that gives me a lot of value in the long round. Uh, two spenders. Summoning circle is good. Imke is amazing, but like, come on, let's be real here. What's the chance of me finding Imke upgrade here? Not too bad, actually. But there's no need. I can start with Doppler, Tax Collector. Actually, probably Doppler. Oh, you want a summoning circle? I kind of want a summoning circle too, but it can wait. What I can do is like Tax Collector, Summoning Circle, then Doppler. If this stays up. Corporations are people too. I can't fucking wait for mobile. Getting pay at work and play Grant all day. Long sounds great. Can you get something like a uh, something mobile thing to use it on? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't have it. Anything. But there, there were some people in the chat who said that they were somehow managing it. Maybe on a tablet. Like, that could be too ambitious for work. We're all dressed up just for you. Okay. Those are annoying cards. So let's do Doppler. Doppler was still okay, but it's actually getting to the point where it's not as impressive. Summoning Porto versus Summoning Porto. Who's gonna win this one? Some ways to spend money. The blacksmith could be alright. Should I kill a kicking board warrior? Are these gonna just continually generate value? Should I just dunk on it with uh, Warson Jr.? Yeah, let's do Bincy. And... Uh, this should be decent. I think. We're gonna get four gold because we are overkilling it. We still get some gold. Next round, if we're just not spending the gold, we're gonna get out the ship. Although, it's the round to actually uh, maybe do something. Interesting. You best yield now. Wait, what? They're just doing stuff? Okay. Will he ever play something that's bigger than a one? Or a two? Ah. So I can play these for six. Makes more sense. If you're not doing Bounty, then I guess that's fine. I also need some ways to spend gold.
So I think I'm gonna play a blacksmith. Play that. And boost by two, I think. But play a tight cloak ransacker. And kill the full tail. And this move could get out the ship. And also further boost Bincy. Oh. Oh crap, I should have killed that. I don't go up against this deck often. Is that a basic card? No, that's a special card. Okay, so what are we doing here? They want to spread some boosts and definitely play. You'll never take us alive. Those two. Maybe just wait. Yeah, we can just wait. Let's just play a little bit more. Just in case the blacksmith dies, we don't have to react right away. We have nothing to steal, come on! I gotta play the Sea Jackal. Boost it by a little bit, but then just wait. Renew. Holy crap! You crossed the wrong sorceress. Apparently. He's a, he has a very simple strategy that he likes to do over and over again. Okay, boost. And wait. Oh, I gotta play a card. But there's nothing to kill here! Look at all his units! He has nothing! What, am I supposed to steal a one now? You should not boost both. What are we doing here? This can hard remove something. Okay, let's say we hold on to the money. And we steal... Uh, maybe Yennefer. The, the spider is not good because it's gonna get hit. I'm gonna need the money. The bounty money. This last guy is gonna be huge. But it seems like everything else he has is garbage. I totally should have stolen this, first time he played it. Swarm. God damn it. <laughs> uh oh. Big man is coming down. Oh, it's not. Oh, he is. Does he have a fork tail left? Possible that he has a fork tail. Right? Should we kill this just in case of fork tail? I think we gotta kill it. And this is a base power of prey. 
Not oh, like I had of the gold anyway. The eternal fire casts a long shadow. I suppose we're gonna play the bounty next turn. We're gonna go to a seven. Yeah, we need the bounty mark. Yeah, let's go. Underestimate the display. So we go with Hunter. Our pyres will light up the north. Raiden. The church welcomes all. All are free to convert. <laughs> oh, look at that! Raiden took the game pretty convincingly. Well played. So you just really need removal. <laughs> and yeah. And Graydon helps a lot. Well played. So maybe we don't want the Bunty guy. Zer. Graydon is good if we get the Bunty guys. <laughs> and definitely not the ship. We're going first. It might be our temple pass. Let's go tax collector. No, Boost it. Tax <laughs> Can you show the deck after ah. this one? Sure. It's it's a work in progress because they took away a lot of removal from this faction. I cannot call the the nerf a well a murder. It's it's pretty bad. But we have a chance. I'm kind of using the summoning portal now, and it didn't work as well when I was using Calab Manga. I don't know if you can get away with Calab Manga. You like it? I like winning too. It's a good deck. Yeah, I like playing it. I, d I did prefer the previous style, which is ridiculous, but I have to admit that Horse Horsens Freak Show that need needed to be nerfed, but it's kind of murdered now, so it's not... Not the best. And we have many ways to gain value. For example, we have Nathaniel uh, plus Coarse Blacksmith play sometimes. He just went through money. Uh, am I doing Siggy? I think Siggy can be okay. I can also do Coarse Blacksmith. I don't know, let's not do that. Let's My do Siggy. Oh, that's a very powerful play later. Yes, more Syndicate, please. It's a good faction. Even though they tried to murder it. Are we gonna keep playing here? Because if so, it makes more sense to hover at 5 gold and play the tactical Ransackers on anything, just for six points. The job's a job. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, he has he has nine gold. God damn it! Didn't even see it. Well, at least he's only gonna get four for it. Probably go for some bleeds. No, he's not doing that. Oh, we can do Boris. All that. Now, are we committing to... Maybe we're not committing to the super all in here. Well, I have 26 points. Even if he kills it... Let's say he kills it. He doesn't have enough money. He actually has enough money to... If we one trigger, just get the uh, four base power. But if he kills it with Graydon, that's gonna be a 19 point swing. Which should take it. I guess, suppose we can play the uh, tight cloak ransackers. And if he does a Graydon, I'm kind of okay with it. If it does just the grade then, we're fine. 
But we cannot boost the guy further. Yeah, we are 12. We have a lot of gold. I have two ways to play this. Either we pass, or I just use up all my gold on all my guys. Especially the guy that got marked now. I guess we're gonna win round one. If he pushes me round two, it's gonna be awkward. If he keeps playing, I suppose I'm just gonna be okay with it. After that, we're passing. Maybe playing. Or else. Actually, boosting the bear up to a 7 would have been better, I think. Not to an 8, because he might have some hard counter to it. I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. Okay. But he needs to do a 11 point play. <laughs> And if he does that, I suppose I'm cool with it. Probably he needs to use some coins. Two coins. Oh no. Steal. And using an impactful card. Fucking ship. Could have boosted the ship further. I need the two spenders for last round. The only problem here is that I don't have a throwaway. If anything, I'm probably gonna kick a good card to find the throwaway. But that's a throwaway. That's an even better throwaway. Sadly, we need the spenders. Yeah, that uptime is just... Uh, uh, that be correct. Uh, we got a keep of a chanter. I'm not sure about the Doppler keep. It's okay. We don't need two witch hunters, but it would help. It would help. Nathaniel, and that could work with the boost. Although, yeah, like, Poor Sun makes a lot of sense with Bunties, but currently we are kinda use Graydon for that. We just need some Witch Hunters to enable it. Oh. Sorceress, what now? Going with the coin. Maybe it's gonna be the pimp. What is my daughter in here? Amara. Okay. Unexpected. Hmm. I should not have a way to steal this. Are all lasts from scaling so all inspiring? Not a great hand. First time we see a value guy, we're just uh, using uh, Beansy and and Dunk. Uh oh. My time the North was cleansed. Well, he doesn't have the I money now. Oh, let's go with Mathaniel. The eternal fire be with you. This is good because I put two threats on the board. It's gonna be like, yeah, like I wanted to shut down Imka, but 
We got Nate the Bait over here, who doesn't get... Who's like, his, his value is incredibly inconsistent, but he gets some value. Right? You miss one bloody lecture on focus, and it's your life. Slowly killing it. I can boost it. Try to save it. I can boost it to a three at least. Ten percent for peace of mind. I think boosting it to a five is probably the most sensible. And we're gonna go with some nate value. Tomorrow is gonna die to a bleed. We can even witch hunter it. But we're not gonna do that. Nate is not getting any respect. What does Nate do? Uh, when you play a boost on him, he bleeds a random enemy for two turns. So every time he gets boosted, he deals two damage. But over time. And also his target is stupid. He has such a high ceiling for damage. But his targeting is so bad. But it's still not garbage. Still an okay card. Uh, looks like Nate is getting some respect now. He's running out of time. Gonna lose a card. Ooh, he went with the log. Okay. Not sure what to do now. I kind of want to play Beansy, but got nothing to target. Has intimidate on it, but let's boost Mike by two. Make it hard to remove because he already played the Graydon, as far as I know. The question is. What do we do here? Edge. We just go beam seal. But in this case, we're just gonna hit the renegade mage, boost by four. Have a lot of money, but don't use it right now. Still going up in points. Cannot kill the bu the bounty girl yet. Having played Grant in four months, new leaders, new faction. A double ship. So I need to keep boosting Mike. So she doesn't die. Actually, she needs to go to 12. At this point, she should be... She should be able to survive. That's some damage. I cannot play the Sea Jackal because he might have evolved. We gotta play something. Maybe it's gonna be Morales on the ship. Actually, not, not on the ship. Imka should be resistant now. What faction it is? Syndicate! Yeah, no big rat. Okay. Got hard removed. It's not great. And I played into it. There's really not much I can target with Graven. Will he ever play something that has high base power? And just go with the Sea Jackal. He's still hovering a lot of gold. I only need corpses. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. Okay, I, I guess I gotta play that, and we might 
find the bounty target later. Seeds. The fattest guy would be the best. Leads on everybody. Leads. Magic souls chaos. I guess we're killing that with Graydon. This looks possibly like a loss. We're gonna gain four points. Doesn't really matter who we use it with. But he did use his gold, so pretty good. Pretty small lead. I know. Even if you boost this, we can, but like, it would be fine. for days. Alright, we managed to beat him. Pretty good. So BNC wasn't maximized in value, but she was still okay. And that's kind of what I'm going for, because BNC is good. It can be like stupidly OP, but that's just like putting all your eggs in, eggs in one basket. That's not great. And if you have, if the opponent has any hard removal, BNC is gonna get it. So GG. It's, it's a lot better to have a 14 point BNC than a in our 30 point BNC and some weaker cards along uh, the BNC. So, GG.